Man, no gunshots, but they get in low, low. YouTube, what's going on everybody? It's Eve dropping up that you guys are all having an amazing day today. This is just going to be a really quick introduction to the video. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys really enjoy the room tour slash best college dorm room gaming setup. And with that, let's get into the video. So this is kind of what you see as you enter my room. There's a closet. We're not going to go through that because it's not really important, but we will definitely start at the setup because I know that's what most people are going to want to see is the setup. And then we'll kind of move on to some other stuff about my room after that. So let's start here. Here. Basically, the main part of my setup would be my computer. Uh, I forgot what this case is called. It's a NZXT Phantom 410 case. And then come over here inside the computer, I have an Intel 4790K processor. It's an i7. Um, and then my graphics card is right here. I have the box actually for it. It is the ASUS Strix GeForce GTX 970. So, I mean, it, it works pretty well. It's, it's the mid range card, so it, it works. I think it performs pretty well, especially for the cost. Uh, we'll move to the front of the setup here. The next probably biggest part of the setup is the two monitors. So these are actually different monitors. They're both BenQ. This is a BenQ XL2420Z. And basically this monitor can do 144 hertz, uh, all kinds of different stuff. You can read up on it online. Uh, and this one is a BenQ RL. 2420 HT. So this one is more for console gaming. So this one can only go up to 60 hertz, but that's okay because that's all you need for console gaming. Whereas 144 hertz, my card can kind of push up higher than that, especially on games like CSGO. It can push, you know, like hundreds of frames, but that's why 144 is more important. Move on to the keyboard next because that's what I use a lot when I'm typing and stuff, editing videos. And this is a thermal take keyboard. I forgot what the exact name of it is called, but I will put it in the description. It's basically the cheapest full mechanical, full RGB keyboard I could find. It's also a super minimalistic design, which is what I wanted. I didn't want like big bulky stuff around here, which is what a lot of keyboards have. Um, we'll move on to the mouse next. This is a SteelSeries Rival mouse. I mean, it, it, was a, it was a really good mouse for the price, so that's why I picked it. I got the matching mouse pad, which is only like eight bucks at Best Buy, and it works fine. It's kind of dirty, but I hope you guys don't mind that. I'll come over here to the mic, which I actually just got. This is the Blackout Edition of the Blue Yeti. It is a super nice mic. I've only used it on a few videos so far, but I really like it and I think it sounds great. Uh, coming over here, basically this is what I use for my speaker. It's actually a Bluetooth speaker and I connect it right there with a, a Beats cord from some Beats headphones that connects over to my computer in the back. And it's only like $30. On Amazon, it's a great deal for how much it costs because it works really well, I think. Uh, coming over here, this is my Moto 360 smartwatch. This, I mean, I don't use it all the time, but it, it, it is really cool. It's the first edition. They came out with a new edition recently of the Moto 360, but I think it's a pretty dope smartwatch. Oh, we'll come over here. This is my easy button. That was easy. And uh, under the easy button is a Nexus 9 tablet with the full keyboard. And here we go. Here's a look at the back. So yeah, this is the whiteout edition of it. I think it looks sick and it has kind of like a silvery edge. Coming around to the back, we have my PlayStation 4, my uh, Astro A40 mix amp, and my Xbox One, and a bunch of cords. I did the best I could on cord management. You can see my webcam kind of wrapped around here. And this is my webcam. This is the Logitech C920, I think. It's full HD, 1080p. So, I mean, it works well for what I have to do. Uh, coming over here, these are my Astro A40s. This is, this is the Gen 2. It's not the, the newest one. I wish I had the newest ones because they, they have the interchangeable ear cups and the headband and all that crap. But th they work well and they work well with the mix amp as you saw down there. Um, and last, basically the last stuff for on the desk. This is my Elgato HD60. Now this cord is the stream port and it connects into the stream port right here on the Astro mix amp. So it makes streaming on Twitch a lot easier. And uh, I think that's everything on the desk. We'll put this back. This is my chair. This is what I got with the dormant raises and lowers. It's kind of like the least fancy, the most basic desk chair you can think of. And I'm looking into, I want to get a DX racer chair. I think that'd be sweet. I love those. But for now, this is, this is what I'm rocking with. This is my, this is my chair that came with the dorm. Coming over here, we have my two scuff controllers, the scuff for PS and the scuff infinity one. We have a G, a G fuel bottle and a Red Bull can that is actually empty. Uh, we'll take a look real quick at these. All right, so here are my two scuffs. We'll get them in focus. So this is my Scuff Infinity 1. There's an unboxing of this. It's like the second video I ever did. So if you want to see this more in depth, definitely go check out my unboxing of it. 
there we go four paddles red grips trigger stops so yeah and then here is my scuff for ps so i got this one because uh, i got it in orange because as you can tell kind of by this by my computer and by my astros they all have like an orange black and white theme and i've kind of realized since then that i don't even like the color of that orange that much so i'm kind of transitioning to making everything black and red and white because i think that looks a lot cleaner but there it is there's my scuff for ps these can only have two paddles on them then we also have control freaks which i use and then there's some control freaks for the xbox one so yeah those are the controllers i use when i am gaming on my console as well as i connect the infinity one to my computer what i got over here is this just kind of like a shelf thing that i got at, i don't even remember what store i got it at but it was only like 25 bucks this is an xbox one controller the master chief edition from halo 5 I also have the scuff, the other scuff grips put onto here because they're super comfortable. Throw that on the bed. Regular PlayStation 4 controller. A bunch of games, including Pokemon games, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS4. Uh, we'll move over to this shelf. Two seasons of South Park. Nerf gun. I don't know why. Uh, here we go. Here's a Nintendo 2DS, which is what I used to play the DS games that you saw in there. And then here's more games, uh, more PS4 games, and then a bunch of movies, The Hangover, Step Brothers, and uh, you know, a bunch of other comedy movies. I mostly just watch comedy movies. So put that back in here. We got vitamins, a bunch of cords. Every cord you could think of is in here. I got HDMI cords, Ethernet cords, USB cords. Uh, and then we'll come up here. This, this stuff is a little bit more themed to gaming. So I got my 3G fuels. I got Faceberry, Watermelon, and Blue Ice. And then up here, I have Faceberry Mystery G Fuel flavor, which will be my next video. Is a test taste test of this, so look out for that. Uh, Blood Orange, and then this is more Faceberry back here. Uh, my two scuff boxes here and here, and then I got two G Fuel bottles, the Glow in the Dark, the UMG version, and then up here is my calendar that I use. And then if I come up here, which is across, which is above my bed, I didn't know whether I should put these above the computer or above the bed. This wall was bigger, so I decided to go with this wall. So what we got is we got every game from the Black Ops series. We got. Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, obviously, as they say. And I think that one is not the actual cover art poster, but those two are. But that's that's pretty much as close as I could get. So I, I kind of like that, especially since this year is Black Ops 3. Okay, now this is going to start getting into some less gaming type stuff. So basically, a mini fridge that came with the dorm, as well as a microwave. And this is actually one unit screwed together. I don't know if you can see it right there. And then it even has like power outlets on it. I have my fan connected. I got my toothbrush connected. Like everything can connect to this. I, I don't know why there's plugins on it, but there is. So it's it's pretty small microwave. But then on top, I have just some paper towels. My windowsill is actually normally not this clean. It's actually really clean right now because I wanted to clean it off for the video. But we got a fan. Uh, I turned it off for now because I didn't want it on in the video. Uh, just vitamin container, a Santa Coke. I've collected these since I was like really young. So I just kind of kept going. With them, uh, I forgot what this doll is called. I feel like this doll has a specific name. But it's just kind of sitting on my tissues. A Rubik's Cube. Um, this, I put stuff that needs to dry, like bot, like my G Fuel bottles when I clean them and stuff. I put them on here and I'll put a paper towel under. And lastly, because I'm in college, you know, I got my shower caddy, which I actually don't need because I have a bathroom that's connected. But it's still good because I put all my shower stuff in there, leave it in the window sill so it can all dry. Uh, here's my bungee chair. I think you guys have seen these a lot. I'll kind of link one on Amazon. I'm not going to set it up because it'll take too long. Um, and then here's my bed. Uh, just a basic bed, you know, basic stuff. This is just crap that I took out of there that I already showed you. Connected to my bed, I got drawers and stuff, uh, cleaning supplies, uh, closet like I showed you. And then on top of my closet, I got some air freshener, some supplements for working out, some protein bars, some more supplements, some protein powder. As I showed you before, my box for my graphics card. And I have this controller and this is kind of actually kind of like a trophy to me. Let's put it up next to this Halo 5 poster that is above, it's above the setup. So basically I won this controller at a very small, it was like six people I think, tournament playing Halo 2 on the original Xbox and this was the main prize. So that's how I got this and then this is the Titanfall Special Edition controller. I've never used it, I just kind of put it up here as a trophy. And then that's the Halo 5 poster. And then here's, here's a one more overview of the setup. Let's make sure it's focused. It's not focusing. There we go. Okay, so that is going to be the end of the room tour. I hope that you guys all really enjoyed the video. I will have links down in the description to every piece of hardware, I guess you could call it, that I did have in the video. Every part of the gaming setup, at least, I'm not gonna like link the little racks that I have over there, or the shower caddy or anything. 
But if there's anything I left out that you want to know what it is, just tell me down in the comments below and I will try to give you my best answer for as to where to find it. If you did enjoy the video, please drop a like down below. It really helps out the channel and it is much appreciated. Also comment down below what, what the main feature of your gaming setup is. Also comment what you want next for your gaming setup, what your next piece of hardware or kit or whatever you want to call it. What's your next thing that you're buying to improve your gaming setup? Lastly, if you have not already, make sure to drop a nuke down on the subscribe button below. Become part of the eavesdrop army. Become an eavesdropper today. But with that, I hope that you guys all have an amazing day. I want to thank you again for watching the video. And as always, I've been eavesdrop and I'm out.